Hey there, painting with squirrels. Vicky here. Uh, nice to meet you personally, kind of, sort of. Um, I'm really, really pleased for you. That's why I want to do this video. You are killing it, girl. You are taking care of yourself with eating healthy and your own food. You are smart in the mind. You're taking care of your body with yoga and stretching. You're talking to people. You're giving so much love. So I wanted to give some love back to you because I love to help people who want to help themselves. So what we're going to do in this video is a video, um, a sequence called sun salutation. And it's a way that I start my day every day. Um, it's really, really important before you two tips, before you do anything with yoga, make sure you do some good stretches. One, uh, two good things to do with your stretching definitely is your neck stretches. Um, and what I like to do with my neck stretches, I'll just show you, uh, I'll do this angle here. So when you do neck stretches and stuff, really inhale and exhale nice and slow through your stretch. And I don't know if you're told about that, but with yoga, it is about the breath. The breath helps the body to balance and helping the body to balance means the oxygen in the blood will throw proper, flow properly. Um, so make sure when you inhale, try something like this. Inhale and try to pull your right ear to your right shoulder like this. Exhale, keep pulling all the way down. Never go all the way around. And now we're gonna inhale again, pull down even more. Exhale, roll your chin to your chest, nice and slow with your exhale, all the way to the left, nice and slow. Once you get to the left, you're gonna inhale and pull the left ear down to the left shoulder. Exhale, pull deeper. One more time, inhale. Exhale, roll your chin to your chest all the way to the right. Nice and slow. You should feel the tendons in the back of your neck pulling. Now, another great neck stretch is to actually interlace your fingers behind your back, pull your shoulders back, and then pull your crown of your head on an angle. And then you roll it forward on an angle. I'll demonstrate. Inhale, put your shoulders back. Sitting up nice and tall, pull the head forward. Exhale, roll the head forward. So if you can see my shoulders are pulled back. Inhale, pull the crown forward. Keep the, long, the arms engaged. Pulling back at the shoulders and roll forward. All the way to the right. Once you get to the right, we're gonna inhale nice and deep, pull down even lower. Pull that neck, stretch those tendons. Exhale, roll the chin up to the ceiling with the head on the top of the back, rolling it nice and slow all the way to the left. Inhale nice and deep, pull down. Exhale, roll back. And then bring your head back to neutral. Another great tips with using with yoga with stretches is you want to don't forget these wrists. These wrists are so important. They're what's holding your body up when you're on them. So a great way of doing um, a wrist work stretch is to push like you're pushing against the wall Inhale, pull your fingers back, almost like you're pushing your palms into the wall. Just like this. Pull them back, tuck them down at the wrist. Inhale, pull them up, pull, pull, pull. Tuck them down at the wrist. Put your hands in the fist, still arms are elongated. Hands are in a fist and just roll. Roll your fist just a few times. I know it feels unnecessary, but these little things really do help your stretching. And another nice thing to do a few times is a forward fold. So every time you do a forward fold, make sure those feet are together. Legs are locked. Booty is tight. Inhale, reach up, stretch that spine and fold all the way down as much as you can go. Each time you do it, you'll find your spine will loosen up more and more. So we'll do two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, reach up and fold. Rolling up to rolling to dasana, allow your body to hang as your spine rolls out. So now we're gonna do sun salutation, okay? So I'm gonna do the first one really slow. It's actually three rounds. So uh, we'll do one really slow and then I will um, go through the three rounds with you at a normal pace. So that's the video that you wanna keep for when you do your morning wake up. So standing in front of your mat, feet together, lock the thighs, lock that booty, core is engaged. Inhale, shoulders up, 
exhale shoulders back and down now elongate those fingers like you're reaching for a thousand dollar bill everything's locked and this is tadasana i'm sure you know even though it's so simple if everything is engaged you are now making it into a workout so starting in tadasana find your breath On your next inhale, raise the arms, reaching up. Legs are still locked, booty is locked. Reach those arms up, reach those fingers like you're reaching for a million bucks. Exhale, fold. Now when you fold, if you keep your legs locked, push your booty back as you come down to as low as you can go. Now I personally can go all the way down. I've been doing yoga for a very long time. So go to where you can. Use um, some cans or some boxes if this is as low as you can go. Regardless of how low you can go, legs are locked into a forward fold. Hands go to your mat, right foot back, as far back as you can, right knee down. Now we're into a low lunge. So while you're into a low lunge, your knee never goes over your ankle, okay? So inhale, look up, low lunge. You should feel a stretch right here in your thigh. Exhale, hands to the mat, push off with your hands. Bring your left foot back into a downward dog. Once you're done in your downward dog, inhale, push off your toes. Bring your body forward into a plank. Exhale, you want to come down to eight points, which is drop your knees, drop your chest and your chin. Elbows in. Inhale, push up into cobra. Chest up, arms are still bent. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Push your booty back up into downward dog. Inhale, bring your right foot forward and your left knee down and do a low lunge again, looking up. Exhale, push off the mat. Use your left foot, tuck your toes under. Push it up into a forward fold and inhale, reach into an upward salute. Then we end it with pranayama. So we'll do three rounds, okay? And again, stop and start at whatever works for you. Um, and if you've already know this offhand and you want more of a like a uh, what harder video, let me know. I'm I'm all over it. I want to help you out. I think you're totally awesome. So now we're gonna do three rounds of sun salutation, okay? All right, starting into dasana, feet together, engage the thighs, engage the booty. Inhale, shoulders up, back, exhale, down. Inhale, raise arms, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, right knee down, looking up into a little lunge. Exhale, hands to mat, downward dog. Inhale, rolling plank. See how I do that on my toes? Exhale, eight points. Knees, chest, chin to the ground. Elbows are in. Inhale into cobra. Elbows are bent. Exhale, make sure your toes are tucked under. Downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Left knee down, looking up. And exhale, tuck that left foot under. Bring it forward to forward fold. Keep it down. Inhale, lock those legs. Reach. Exhale, pranayama. Going straight into round two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back. Right knee down. This time, hands on your left knee and lean back. Exhale, hands to mat, into downward dog. Inhale, rolling plank. Exhale, eight points. Knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push back into downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down, hands on the right knee, looking up. Exhale, hands to mat. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pranayama. Round three. Inhale, reach. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, right knee down. This time, reach up. Exhale, hands to mat. Coming back into your downward dog. Inhale, rolling plank. Exhale, eight points, knees, chest, chin, elbows in. Inhale, over. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down, reach. Exhale, hands to mat. Going back into your forward fold. And inhale, rolling to dasana. Allow your head and your hands to hang as you roll. Pranayama. All right, so that's your sun salutation. If you want anything else, I will send. Um, I'm going to stop the video here. I think I'm going to add some tips into balancing. Um, but there you go. Good morning. All right, so I'm going to give you some tips into balancing, which is a good sequence you can use. It helps to strengthen the core, the legs, yada, yada. All right, so coming into balancing, here's a trick. I bet you've never been told this before. Okay, so when you're balancing on your foot, one foot, you want to make sure that the outside of your foot is straight. Now, when we stand, we think if our big toe is forward, that our foot is straight. It's actually not. If you look at the way a skeleton is, a skeleton hangs with its feet like inwards. So the outside of our foot is what actually means our foot is straight. So it kind of feels weird because when you put your foot, say on the outside of your mat, like on the edge of your mat, so it's flat and it lines up uh, parallel with the edge, your body wants to go this way, turn it this way. It makes you lock your booty and lock your thigh. So when you want to balance on one foot, do it while you're cooking, do it while you're in the garden. Tr make sure your foot is straight, meaning your big toe is turned a little bit in. Lock that hip so your body is lined up with your foot. Once you do that, this is like a tree chunk. You can do anything you want when this leg is balanced correctly. So again, outside of your foot is straight. Lift your toes up, lock your toes into the mat. Lock your thigh, lock your booty. Hip goes forward and you're locked. It's totally locked. Keeping your leg locked, I'm gonna show you how to get into tree. So tree, you can either use ankle to uh, heel to ankle. The idea with tree, it doesn't matter which one you choose, which position, but the idea is to have the knee pulled out. You wanna feel a little bit of tension here in your inner thigh. Again, it just helps to strengthen the muscles, which is what she said you want. So keeping this leg locked, finding your position, tree option A, tree option B, which is you can put your heel to your calf, never, ever, ever on your knee. Or option C is up into the groin area, with this leg locked, open that knee, push against it when you feel comfortable. And once you gain some control, raise that arm and pull the arm back. So now you're locked into tree and you're gonna shake. That's part of the workout. Inhale, reach, take three nice breaths. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Inhale again, exhale, and inhale one more time. And on your exhale, we're gonna release the hand that's raised, bring our knee forward and kick it out to a high kick. Holding that for three breaths. I like my hands behind my booty because it helps me stand stronger. You want to point the toe, it's going to shake. Once you've done this for three breaths, you're going to keep this leg locked and come into dancer. Dancer is where your left hand grabs your left foot, still facing forward, still standing on the one leg. Keep it locked and lean your body forward into dancer. Ooh. Exhale, if you can hold this for three, that's awesome. Exhale, you wanna release and come into eagle, wrapping your left foot around your right leg, find your balance, and then your left arm goes over your right, bending at the elbows, grabbing to the top, pulling it up, and usually falling over. So I'll show you on the left side, because when you do the right, you always gotta do the left, no matter how tired you feel. 
So I'll show you as a sequence now from this side. I'm gonna make sure my foot is straight. Booty is locked. Finding my breath. Finding my position for my tree. What did you do here for three breaths? Going straight into a high kick. Point the toe, lock both thighs. After your three breaths here, dancer, right hand to the right foot, left hand goes up, pivot off your hip. And once you're done dancing for three breaths, you're going to come down to eagle. Right hand, right foot, pull it up. Sweet. So that's your balancing sequence. Let me know what you think. If you want anything else, dude, I'm totally down to help you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. it. Just practice as you go. Like, like I said, as you're cooking, stand there, see here, wherever feels right. Just please never put pressure on the knee. And understand when you move into your sequences that you really want to um, breathe as you move. That is what is key, it's important. All right, I'm gonna show you a mat sequence. Don't know if you know it, I'm sure you know the poses. It's a great way of doing um, like your warriors and everything. So where am I gonna, I'm gonna go here. All right, so I'm facing forward with my mat. My feet are at the front of my mat. I'm gonna lock my thighs, lock my booty, engage my core, inhale, shoulders up, back down. It's a good reset for the spine. Keep your legs locked. Three breaths here in Tadasana. And on your last exhalation, you're going to raise your arms up, reach, pull them back behind the ears, extend those fingers, and bring the right foot back onto the balls of your feet, bending the left knee into warrior one. Now, when you do your warrior, you wanna make sure your back leg is locked and your front leg is like a table. I mean, you'll be like this for a while, but once you get better and better, maybe you're there. You want to make sure it's like a table. Lock your toes in the mat, roll your body up. Warrior one. Three breaths here. Once you've done your three breaths, you want to turn your right heel into the mat. Oops, I got stuff there. You want to turn your uh, left knee forward. So you want to pull that up. Lock this leg. The foot is now on a 90 degree angle, so it's kind of on an eight, like a slant. We're going into warrior two. Again, make sure it's tabled. If your knee is going over your ankle, you can go further. So make sure that that knee is lined up with the ankle. Open your body, bring your body up nice and tall, not leaning forward. Warrior two. From warrior two, after your three breaths, your legs should be shaken. Exhale, drop your right hand to your right thigh or calf, wherever you fall. Left hand stays straightening up. Reach over your head, bending that front knee into reverse warrior. Now while you're a reverse warrior, reach, bend, and try to go lower and lower on your breath. Keeping your legs locked for reverse warrior, we're gonna pinwheel our arms that means reach and bring it all the way around to the side. Now your left hand is gonna go by your left foot. Your right hand reaches up in the triangle. Looking up, three breaths here. From this position, we're gonna bring it down into a low lunge. Hands to the mat, looking forward. Drop that knee, look up. Well, you should feel a good stretch of your thigh. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat, and your left foot goes back into downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna go into three-legged dog, still working that right foot, so put your pressure on the right foot. Raise that left into three-legged dog. Point the toe, push off the mat. When you're ready, inhale, we're gonna do crunch dog which is bring your left knee and your body forward and have your knee connect with your elbow. Holding up, see my toes are up. I'm pushing off the ground. Inhale again, bring it up, three legs. Exhale, back into crunch. Inhale one more time, nice and high, bring that foot up. 
three legs and exhale, bring your foot in, bringing your knee to your left elbow and drop your foot by your right hand. Dropping the knee down slowly. This is gonna feel incredible on the booty. Reaching that right leg back, push the body into pigeon. Now you may have to be leaning down, do what feels right for your body. But you do wanna feel a stretch. The more you go, the easier it gets. You wanna to try to get the body up nice and tall with your left boot, butt, butt cheek on the mat. Pushing up, embrace that stretch. Feel free to move around a little bit to get other tendons in the booty. Once you've done this for three breaths, put your hands to the mat, tuck your right foot under, back into downward dog just for a reset. And exhale, forward fold and inhale, roll. And then do the other side. So again, always balance right from left, rewind, play, pause, stop, or fast forward. I hope these videos have helped you, Chick. Uh, hit me up if you need anything else. Sending you loads of love. Talk to you soon.